hey y'all hey welcome back to another video i am going to let y'all watch me work while i talk about that collab y'all when i tell you some of y'all had me on the floor laughing crying literal tears laughing on the floor like literally i was laughing on the floor i'm talking about i laughed so hard y'all i hurt my wrist i don't even know how in the world i hurt my wrist i guess it was from slapping the chair and like kicking my feet y'all i'm talking about hilarious freaking hilarious y'all did an amazing job y'all i love y'all so much i love y'all so much like y'all made my vision come to reality like y'all literally made me so freaking proud y'all everyone did an amazing job you guys i think crystal tickled me the most because she just had to get out of her way and she was telling me that later on she said once i got out of my way you know it was something that she needed y'all and if y'all really did like try to do it which i think everyone did you know crystal once she got out of her way she started to sound just like christine and she was she seen that she was doing it and when she seen that she couldn't help but to laugh like she literally just lost it in her video and just started laughing and then she picked right back up but it's so exhilarating to do stuff like this you guys just to get out of your comfort zone it really does take you into a different life like it takes you into that other person's mindset and when i had done ashley you guys i really felt ashley's spirit on her channel ashley is just so funny she tries to make us laugh y'all she is so funny and I can just tell she just has so much fun on her videos. And I was just like, I need to get like that. I need to be more like that. I need to have more fun on my videos, y'all. Like, I just felt her character when I was taking over her channel. I just felt her spirit. And she is just so sweet, y'all. I love me some ashley she cracks me up and that's why i wanted her but y'all um who else low i think that's how you say your name you are new to the nail community and i know you've been doing nails but it's like you're new to youtube i believe and you surprised me I'm talking about you had Sandra down to a T. Like, y'all had me laughing so hard. Lo, you surprised me, honey. You really did a great job. And I know you studied Sandra's channel. That's another good thing about this, y'all. We are getting watch hours. <laughs> like, we are getting, and we're, we're all needing that, whether you're, monetized or not it's still good to get those watch hours your channel needs to be getting watched we all know this so people were getting their channels watched like crazy because y'all did y'all's homework do you hear me y'all did y'all's homework um ashley surprised me too she had her lowe's accent lou she had her accent down to a t sandra was so nervous she just knew that she couldn't do it, honey. And then she done came on there with some damn, what, 5XL nails. Y'all, she, we could get, like, that's the whole point. Do, can we guess whose channel you're taking over? Yes, we guessed everyone. We guessed everyone's channel, y'all. Like, y'all did an amazing job. Y'all, after the last collab, well, before um, PJ's, I had went downstairs to cut my husband's hair, and my husband was watching some of y'all's videos, and he was even laughing. He was laughing. He thought Christine had done such an amazing job getting Crystal's, you know, American accent down. 
he was even proud of you guys because he he knew, you know, how much I had been wanting to do this. And I was kind of nervous to pitch it to you guys. So he was actually proud of you guys. He was so glad that everything went well. Jonah did a good job taking over Barbie's channel. You know, she did the line work. She had the background music. She did an excellent job. Nikki had Miss Jeannie. Nikki was over there trying to do her, you know, her how Jeannie tries to teach us different things. Everyone did amazing. Miss Jeannie had PJ. Miss Jeannie was asking me, was like, I hope I did it justice. But Miss Jeannie, if you had a good time and you did your best, that's all that matters, everyone. That's all that matters. If we're not on here having a good time, y'all, and we're not on here laughing, we're not on here having fun, what are we on here for? As far as I know, nails is our passion. This is something that we love to do, and we figured why not share it on YouTube? No one is making us do this on YouTube. So, and even if you're trying to get monetized and actually make this a career, you still want to enjoy it because who wants to have a career that they don't enjoy? Even in your real life, even in your real work, everyone still wants to have a job that they enjoy. They don't want to go to a job that they hate and they dread going to every day. Why is my client's daughter texting me talking about what supplies do we need? Obviously, she don't know that I'm off today. Y'all, I called in. It is Monday. Y'all had me laughing so hard last night. My adrenaline was going like I couldn't even go to sleep. I knew I wasn't going to make it to work. I went on ahead and called in. And I'm glad that I did because... um. Um, Tia needs her nails done, honey. So, and she's not going to have another off day for like two weeks. So that worked out. She needs to get a feel. But honey, let's talk about PJ. PJ, I literally think that you missed your calling as a comedian. Like, what the hell? Was you literally trying to make me have a heart attack last night? Like, I... I was literally about to have a heart attack last night. My husband kept looking over at me like, Bay, Bay, he was trying to sleep because he had to get up this morning, y'all. I could not stop laughing. I was screaming. Do you hear me? I was screaming. Like, I was laughing so hard. I was making laughs that I had never laughed before. Like, the laughs that was coming out of my voice, I had never even heard before. I was screaming. I sounded like the clumps, y'all, at, at at dinner when they was at the table farting and stuff. I wasn't farting. Maybe I did fart. I don't know. But look, I was laughing. PJ, what you need to... PJ should have been a comedian, y'all. She could have did stand-up... She could have been a stand-up comedian. Do you hear me? PJ actually did her channel takeover exactly how I envisioned it but better like she literally maybe understood the assignment even better than I did okay she used Nikki's hand hand gestures she had her accent phrases and she did all that and exaggerated it to make it lighthearted and funny y'all that's exactly how I want it I wanted everyone to like use hand gestures, you know, try to do the accent if you could. Oh my gosh, she sounded just like Nikki. Um, use phrases and just exaggerate it because I didn't want it to be boring, y'all. I didn't want y'all to be nervous or scared. I just want, I just wanted everybody to have fun. That's what it was all about. And y'all, I laughed so hard. I'm talking about I was I was like I don't even know what it's called like I don't even know it's one of those laughs where you literally can't stop yourself from laughing I could not breathe 
I was laughing so hard. My boys did not know what the hell was going on with me. They just shut their door like, what's wrong with that lady? I think the last time I laughed that hard was probably when Bernie Mac was alive. Y'all, I miss Bernie Mac so much. Like, that is my favorite comedian. Bernie Mac and Cat Williams is another one of my favorite comedians, y'all. But Bernie Mac had no filter. Like, that's what I loved about Bernie Mac. He would probably be canceled if he was alive today because everyone is just so sensitive. And I really hate that we are now in a society where everyone is so sensitive. Like, I understand that, you know, everyone has an opinion. And the main thing is communication. If we can communicate that, then I really feel like we can all still have that understanding and still know that we are not making fun of, but we are having fun. We're having fun drama. The thing about it is, I I feel sorry for comedians today. I really do because it's like they can't say anything now. It's, You can't even really be a comedian now because you can't say anything. Everyone is so sensitive. And I really feel like that it comes down to our own insecurities. I'm I'm just like this. If you like it, I love it. I don't care. I'm not judging anyone for anything that they do. And I really feel like it's other people that look at at how other people might look or judge them and they care about that we should not care about how others think or feel about us we shouldn't i don't i mean some people might think well yes we should care about what others think and feel about us but i don't think that you should well to a point to a certain extent like if someone that you know maybe a family member, they love you and they want you to do better for yourself and they're trying to give you constructive criticism to do better for yourself, then yes, you should care about what how that person feels about you. But I'm talking about strangers. I'm talking about people that don't know you from Adam and Eve and they... Because we ain't no Adam and Eve, honey. We ain't no Adam and Eve. We ain't even going to talk about Adam and Eve, honey. Because everybody want to blame, you know, Eve for biting the, ad- the apple. But Adam was the one that left her alone with the snake. So whose fault is it really? This is what I'm saying. Like, there's so many different opinions in this world. And I really feel like you have to take that with a grain of salt and just know who you are what are your morals what do you stand for do you know that you are a good person and that's all that matters you know that you're a good person you know that you're you have good morals you know that you're not out here trying to hurt anyone so who cares about what other people think some people get a thrill off of judging other people and always pointing the finger So, yeah, y'all, it's just hard to be a comedian out here because everyone's sensitive. Everyone wants to be, oh, oh, woe is me. It's all about me, me, me. Like, I, it, y'all, it it can go. This thing, it gets deep. It just gets deep. Like, my husband, for example, and I don't think he'll mind that I'm using him as an example. I don't think... But when we first got together, y'all, he had like really bad anxiety. He didn't like being in large crowds. He always felt like people were looking at him. And I understood that to a certain extent. Um, Like one thing about me is I hate going to the grocery store. So... 
But I noticed that once I started going into the grocery store, if you actually look at the people in the grocery store, you'll feel so much better. Then people in there look a hot mess. Like, what are you worried about? So like I was telling my husband, when you get in a crowd of people, a lot of times when you're anxious and you're in a crowd of people, you're just trying to get where you're trying to go and you're not looking at no one and you're just really, you know, kind of like in a panic, people that have anxiety issues and they're not looking at anyone, but they're thinking that everyone is looking at them. If you just slow down and look at those people, just look at people as you're walking, you will see that they're not looking at you at all. They're not. And you will see that they they look a hot mess. Like you're not judging them, but just know they can't judge you because I don't think they looked in the mirror before they came out and came in the store. Y'all feel what I'm saying? So it's like, just slow down and and look at your surroundings and it's going to make you feel so much better because a lot of times we're just trying to rush and get in and out and we're, we're not looking and we're just assuming that everyone is staring at us. Nobody's thinking about you. Like I had to give my husband some like some tough love conversations because I'm total opposite of that, of that. Like I could care less about what anyone thinks about me. Now, I don't like being in the store because I just don't like being around. I just don't like going to the store, y'all. And I really don't like being around large crowds, but I'm not anxious. I'm not, I don't have anxiety issues or anything like that. I just don't like being in a crowd. But my husband has gotten a lot better, y'all, with that. I basically was just telling him, you know, you can't care about what other people might be thinking about you. Like, I don't even know why he thinks that. Like, he is a handsome man. Like, he is mm, he's sexy. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know why he has that issue. It's a lot better. Like I said, now he doesn't have that problem anymore. If he does, he holds it in very well now. Um, but yeah, you guys. I am just so proud of everyone that participated in this takeover collab. Um, You guys made me proud. You guys made my vision come to life. Y'all, I've been wanting to do this now for over a year. And I've been patiently waiting on the time to pitch it to you guys and for it to actually come to pass everyone is asking for a part two just know like a lot of people are asking for a part two so this may be something that we'll do annually um i think once a year will probably be enough laughter because y'all i was about to die last night i could not freaking breathe like I was laughing so hard I could not catch my breath thank god PJ when she started showing the stickers she stopped you know talking for a minute and I was able to catch my breath but y'all I thank y'all so much I love y'all so much and once again you know thank y'all everyone who participated I will see you guys in my next video I hope you guys enjoyed these nails. Um, I know it's a lot of brown. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. And like I always say, if I don't see you in my next video, I will see you over in your next video.